Hi everybody, welcome to Sacred Body Studio. My name is Fabi and today is a special welcome to all the pregnant girls who are there. So this class is Pregnancy Yoga. It's to support you in this moment in your life that's so special that there are many changes in your body. So this is helping you to release your muscles, keeps a strength and mobility in your body. But the most important, release stress, calm you down, take a little time for yourself. So whenever you are ready, we're going to start. Make sure that you find a corner that you, is your corner that you do yoga, that you feel comfy. So make sure that you have your candle there, your incense, or you prefer aromatherapy. I have this electrical diffuser, which is great. Something to really make you feel calm. You know, and the, and the, the aromatherapy is great to relax us as well. We're going to use our cushions. If you have a yoga bolster, fantastic, because that will give you a lot of support when we are sitting against the wall. If for you it's not comfy this position, you can always um, sit down on a chair. Okay? So we're going to sit down, so make sure that you put your cushions on the floor, make you extra a stretch in your back, extra support, sorry, on your back. Again, if you feel no comfy this, you can always place some pillows under your knees or just sit down on a chair. So we're going to just relax here. And again, the most important at the moment is to understand what is happening in our body. You know, understand that there are many changes and also that you are creating a baby. So that means you need to be calm peaceful, no matter what is outside, no matter what is happening around you, you keep this kind of little bubble, magnetic field around yourself and your baby. Give it these moments for yourself and your baby to just go through the process in peace, in harmony. I know it's very difficult to completely disconnect from the outward and sometimes the problems you have around, but remember it's just a few months, then after you come back strong to whatever you need to deal with. But at the moment, the only important here is you and your baby. So let's start. So for you, you're going to put all the time your hands on your belly. Okay, That's going to give you a nice connection. Okay, So keep your hands on your belly and really connect with your baby. With the breath, what we are going to do with the exercises is to help us to calm down the nervous system by slowing down your, your blood circulation, by slowing down your breath. Okay, so it's very simple. So we're just going to hold our belly, feel that connection with your baby, relax your shoulder, relax your face. Take a deep breath and exhale. Good. Now raise one hand and we're going to inhale through the nose and exhale as you blow in through your hand. Well done. Let's keep going for a couple of times. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Again. Inhale. Exhale. And one more. Inhale. And exhale. Great. Now we're going to put a rhythm in the breath so it will help us to concentrate in our breath to relax us but also to slow down the breath. So we're going to inhale for four beats and you're going to blow for four beats. Ready? So let's take a breath. Inhale. One, two, three, four. Blow. Two, three, four. Inhale. Two, three, four. Blow. Two, three, four. And in. Two, three, four. Four and blow, two, three, four, and in, two, three, four, and blow, two, three, four. Fantastic. So always we're going to have that sensation of blow and release. This is going to be when we have more and more tension, we can use our throat and our mouth, sorry, we can exhale through the mouth to help us to release more tension. Now, at the moment, depends in which um, time of the pregnancy you are, 
But after you third month, you really need to do a, spe a specific class of pregnancy. So if your belly is small or big, it doesn't matter. But when your belly is growing, you will start to feel more pressure in your lungs and it's going to be more difficult for you to breathe. So in the next exercise, we're going to do the same. Inhale through your nose, exhale through your mouth. But instead to normally we're, we're feeling the expansion at the front of the lungs, we're going to try to move that expansion at the back muscles. So when we are inhaling, concentrate that your back expand backwards and it helps us to give us some room to the lungs backwards so let's take a couple of breaths so you can close your eyes this time inhale through your nose and feel how the back expand and exhale flow in and again inhale and exhale Let's go again, but this time we're gonna do again four beats, inhale, four beats, blowing. Let's go, inhale to prepare, exhale, blow. Inhale, one, two, three, four, and blow, two, three, four. Inhale, two, three, four, and blow, two, three, four, and in, two, three, Four and out, feeling your back muscles. And in, two, three, four and out, two, three, four. How do you feel? So again, feel that sensation of expanding backwards. That will give you more room because at the moment you might feel the compression in your lungs. Well done, everybody. So this is one deep breath that is gonna help us to calm us down. So any moment that you feel under stress, any day, any time, count four beats in, blow four beats. And repeat this four times. See how you feel. At the moment, you're already focusing your breath, so you feel more relaxed. Fantastic. So now we're going to do the same sensation of blowing through, of exhaling through your mouth, but this time we're going to contract our throat with the sensation of fogging a glass. So before we were doing blowing, and this pine is like a fogging. So we're going to use the draw, okay? You're going to feel a little bit of pressure in your tummy because it's your abdominals who are controlling the diaphragm. So let's take a breath, okay? So let's start. Inhale. Exhale like you want to fog a glass. And make that sound. Again, inhale. Exhale. One more. Great. Now let's go four and four. Ready? Take a deep breath to prepare. Inhale and exhale. Inhale. One, two, three, four. Exhale. Inhale. Two, three, four. Exhale. Two, three, four. And in. Two, three, four. And out. Two, three, four. And in. Two, three, four, and out, two, three, four. Fantastic, everybody. Well done. So today, we're going to concentrate in exhaling through our mouth. Then after, we're going to inhale and exhale through your nose. But for this, this is our first class. Let's try. So when we exhale, we're going to exhale through, the, through your mouth, blowing or fogging. Are you ready? So let's start. We're going to move our arms, bend your elbows, and we're going to go. Inhale, elbows come moved closer, exhale, open up. Whatever of the two you prefer, or blowing or fogging, whatever you choose. Try both, okay? Let's go. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Again, inhale, try the foggy as well. And one more. Well done, move your hands on your tummy. Now, having that sensation of fogging a glass, we're gonna do it, but we're gonna keep our mouth closed. Are you ready? Now, from here, we're gonna move our hands up 
facing towards the ceiling. You can be sitting on a chair, remember, no problem. We're gonna go inhale, arms up. Turn your palms, exhale, like you want to fog a glass, but with the mouth closed. Again, inhale, exhale, inhale, Exhale, so you feel the contraction and you throw in the exhalation. And again, inhale and exhale. Fantastic. Roll your shoulders backwards, back to your normal breathing. Great. We're gonna we are connecting your breath with the movement. Now we're gonna move our hands onto the knees, and we're just gonna inhale as we move forward. Exhale with that sensation of Blowing a glass, but with the mouth closed. And we're going to exhale, moving backwards, just very gently. Ready? Let's go. Inhale forward. Exhale backwards. Great. Let's go. Four, seven. And backwards. Just to mobilize and strain your pelvic floor. Forward inhale. And backwards. Well done. Let's go for five, inhale, and exhale. Let's go for four, and exhale. Let's go for three, and exhale. Let's go two, exhale, and just one more, and exhale. Now we're gonna do it sideways. Towards the right, as far as you can go, towards the left. And you can go when you are going sideways, you can give a little bit of wave until the neck and the back. Yeah? Let's keep going, okay? Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. Feel the movement in your ribs. You can always can move your hands on your hips. And feel how the hips is moving. Let's go for four. Oh, you can keep your hands on your knees. Well done. Let's go for three. Sideways. Let's go two. Sideways. Let's go one more. And sideways. Great. Now back to center. And we're going to do two move the two movements together. So what's the side? Forward, other side, back to center, so we can move in circle. Ready? Every time we're going to change the direction. So let's go other side, forward, other side, center. Inhale, exhale all the way. Hey, you feel more comfy, blowing through your mouth, exhaling through your mouth. It's okay. And back. If not, keep your mouth closed as you exhale, and then the sensation of you are uh, fogging a glass. And again, other side, releasing, and just one more. Let's go towards to the right side, and towards to your left. How do you feel that? Fantastic. Now slowly move your legs at the front, hold the back of the knees or the front of your legs and we're just going to lean forward, drop your head, chin and chest, we hold here for four deep breaths. Inhale, you can do it as well on a chair if you are sitting on a chair. Inhale for three, exhale, let's go two, exhale. And just one more, and exhale, raise your head, and we're going to move on to all fours. So you completely move on to all fours. Now here, we're going to try to use our hands in the way that we don't let the weight collapse on your wrist, okay? So we're going to point the index fingers forward, and spread your fingers, and we're going to press as well with our fingertips. Now from here, I know that we're used to, to do cat and cow, but we're going to focus more in cat, so you can stretch more your back muscles, because at the beginning, it's already slightly arching your back. 
So let's go. Inhale, we tuck the pelvis in, chin on chest, and we just press our hands down, pressing with your fingertips. Hold me here for four breaths. Feel the curving of the spine. Inhale deep. And exhale. Well, as far as you don't feel too much pressure in your tummy, let's go for three, two, and just one more. And back onto neutral. And from here, we're going to slide the right knee backwards, lift the right knee. We're going to inhale, curve your back, and drag the leg in. Exhale, move your leg as far as you can lift. And we keep going. Inhale in. Exhale out. Let's go. In and out. In and out. Let's go for four more. In, you can drop the head as well to release your neck, but then after back onto neutral. Let's go for three and extend. Let's go for two, extend, and just one more. This time, drop your foot. We slide backwards to stretch our back leg. We just hold here for four breaths. Inhale, you can drop the knee, you feel more comfy, or you can keep your knee off. Let's go for four, inhale, and exhale. Let's go for three, and exhale. Let's go two, exhale, and just one more. And release. We move back again onto all fours and let's repeat other leg. Inhale, left knee in. Exhale, move away. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Let's go four. Exhale, let's go three, exhale, and two, exhale, and just one more, exhale, slide the foot backwards, and remember that we have the three different breaths to use it, you can exhale by blowing, exhale by fogging, or Exhale like a fogging, but with your mouth closed. Keep the knee up if it is comfy, and we hold here four breaths. Inhale, and exhale. Here already we are arching our back, so that's why we won't force too much into doing back bends. We're going to do more releasing your lower back. Two more breaths, everybody. Inhale, exhale, and just one more. Back again onto all fours. This time we open our knees wider, your big toes together, and we just sit in back, child pose. Give me your elbows on the ground just to support you and keep pushing your way backwards. We hold here four deep breaths. Remember, don't go a little bit less than your normal stretch. Inhale deep and exhale. Let's go for three, and exhale, and let's go two, exhale, and one more, and exhale. Slowly move back again onto all fours. Now from all fours, we're going to curl the toes under and we push our hands to go on to downward dog to release your lower back. Now bend slightly your knees so you don't feel too much stress in your legs. But if it's comfy, you can extend your legs. We hold for four. Inhale. And exhale. Let's go for three. And exhale. Let's go two. Exhale. And just one more. Slowly drop your knees back on the ground. Curl the toes under if it's possible. Sit on your heels. If you cannot sit on your heels, you can always put your hands on the floor. Or if you feel it's too much for your toes, you point them away. Okay. 
but try to use the toes so then you can release your heels. I'm going to turn to this side. So from here, lift your left arm and we're just going to stretch towards your right side. We hold here. Inhale for four. Exhale. Let's go for three. Two. And just one more. Release. We go other side. And we hold for four and three, two, and just one more. And we release. We back again on two all fours. This time we're gonna lift the knee a little bit off the ground and we're just gonna open the knee to the side. Okay, we're just gonna go for eight. Inhale in. Let's go seven. In. Let's go six. In. Let's go five. In. Engage your tummy. Press your fingertips on the ground. Let's go four. And three. Two. And one more. We swap. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Now again, open your knees, big toes together, sitting back, extended child pose. Today I will class, class is a little bit longer because I Talk a lot and more time in the breathing, which is really important for you. It's really important in this moment for you. Ready, everybody, relax here. You can keep one fist at the top of the other one to raise your head if you feel more comfy, or just hold hands on the ground. Inhale deep, everybody, and exhale. Let's go. Inhale, exhale, as far as you can go down towards your heels. Let's go two, and one more. Slowly back onto all fours, from all fours back again onto high plank, and then downward dog by pressing your hands. Now here you can bend your knees just to stretch your back, or you can keep your legs straight, whatever you feel comfy. We hold for four, inhale, and exhale. Let's go for three. And exhale. Let's go two. And exhale. And just one more. Drop your knees back onto the ground. This time toes pointing away. We try to sit backwards if it's possible. If it's possible, you're gonna move your fist onto the ground and we're gonna lift the pelvis and we're gonna open our chest and stretch our thighs. If it's not comfy for you, you just go as far as you can go. In case that your bum cannot go down, just as far as you can go. Or if you have yoga blocks, you can use your yoga blocks. So let's go here, everybody, four deep breaths. Open your chest, inhale, and exhale. Let's go for three. Two, and just one more. Great, everybody. We open our knees again, big toes together, and we just rest here. Child pose. Inhale, and exhale. Let's go for three, and exhale. Let's go two, and exhale. And just one more. Raise your torso. How are you? Okay? Remember that this is a course for you. So it's going to be four week course or four day course. Then you can repeat it if you want any time. But even like when you put the four classes together, you can have a big long class. But, or you can just go one by one. Or you can do it every day. Like at these exercises or this class, you can make it every day. So tomorrow, 
you go again, you go again, and you will feel more benefits from yoga. So we're going to end with a little relaxation. So we're going to sit down again against the wall. But if you don't feel comfy sitting on the ground, we're going to sit down on a chair. You can keep your legs crossed or just your legs at the front, whatever is comfy for you. Okay. So we close our eyes, moving your hands on your tummy, back to your breath. Remember your breathing. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Let's go the counting. We're going to inhale for four. Exhale for four. Choose whatever of the ones we did. Blowing, fogging, or fogging with the mouth closed. Inhale. One, two, three, four. Exhale. Two, three, four. And in. Two, three. Four and out, two, three, four and in, two, three, four and out, two, three, four and in, two, three, four and out, two, three, four. Back to your normal breathing. Inhale and exhale to your nose. Feel the natural breathing. You feel that the lungs are expanding backwards. Visualize. Your whole body covered with a white energy, like a magnetic field, a white energy full of love, health, harmony, peace, strength. And that white energy is around you, protecting you and your baby. And keeping your hands on your tummy, we're going to say a little mantra. We are safe. You tell to your baby, we are safe. We are together. We are in peace. And feel your breath. If something in your mind came, something disturbed you, Something that put you under pressure. Just take a long breath. Count the four beats. And then repeat. We are safe. Slowly everybody open your eyes. Now we're going to move our hands in prayer position. We're going to inhale, move the arms up. Exhale through your mouth, arms down, with a sensation of fogging a glass or blowing, whatever of the two. Inhale, and exhale. One more, inhale, and exhale. Hands back, break the seizure. Namaste. Thank you for joining us. And if you have any questions, let us know in the comments. And we'll see you for the next class. Thank you. And you can find us in Instagram as a Sacred Body Studio. Have a fantastic day.